I know you mentioned that you want to take some stuff back. So did you learn anything while you were there? What, what, did you learn I just watched how they, I just was watching basically how you know Gail and Christy just dealt with the day to day stuff. And you know I don't know if I actually learned anything that I really said this is it. But I can incorporate some of their some of their things like with my way. I mean, you're never going to take something. You're always going to adopt your way of doing things. But it was just putting my spin on what they were doing. Maybe things I wasn't doing as well. You know, just kind of mostly customer service and dealing with the employees. So if there was one person there at the gas that you could take back and bring her to your own salon, who would it be and why? Well, right now I think, you know, uh, I don't really do a big makeup business in salon. I mean, I do, I, 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 I you know, I have a couple of freelance girls that come in and do makeup for me. If I was going to pick somebody that I was going to bring in here and do hair for me, I think Tracy's got a ton of talent. You know, she's young, she's hungry, she's ready to go. You know, I could take somebody from there. If I could rob anybody from there, I could take <laughs> rob Tracy and bring her in there. Oh, cool, cool. So, uh, you mentioned makeup and uh, also you work with Alexa on the show. Um, and she seems to have uh, a bit of a swagger about herself, you know, and in my book there's a, there's a fine line between arrogance and confidence. Where do you, where do you think she's going? With Alexa, I mean, she's a 26 year old girl. She built this business for nothing. You know, she comes across as a confident person, but if you actually see her work, she could, she's one of the few people that could back up the confidence with her work. You know, she's a fun girl to be around. You know, me and her, we, I mean, and you'll see in a couple of upcoming episodes, we really banter back and forth. We go at it. We're like brother and sister. We're like a dysfunctional family, a dysfunctional family. We'll go back and forth with each other. And it was great. It was a lot of fun, but she's got talent. And if you're going to talk that way and be the way she is on camera, you better be able to back it up and Alexa can back it up. Yeah. Cool. Cool. So that was one of my favorite characters from the show, unfortunately she only made it uh, through one episode, was Teresa. Teresa. And I know <laughs> you worked with her in the past, so could you share a funny story that you have about her? Uh, Terry was great. Terry Terry was funny. Terry was the kind of girl, like when I was coming up in the business in the salon I worked at, I was an assistant. You know, sometimes a lot of the older stylists, you know, not that they made you feel bad about yourself, but you know, like they really like made sure that, you know, they showed that they were in control over you. Terry was never like that. Terry was always the one that would, you know, Treat you, treated you equal. She didn't treat you like she was above you or she, like she had more experience. You know, Teresa and Terry always made you feel like you were equal with her. She was fun to be around. She still is. I mean, to see her walking to that salon, I was like, wow, I didn't even know you were going to be here. You know, we hugged and we saw it come across my camera. Yeah. That, was, that, was, that wasn't staged. That wasn't set up. That was my real, like, wow, you know? And I thought she was going to end up working there. I was kind of upset. I mean, I ended up loving Tracy and Tracy got the job, but. Well, like if, if we're gonna, if I'm gonna be here for an extended period of time, and Terry's looking for a job here. The two of us together, it would have been a pisser. <laughs> it would have been a pisser. I mean, she's a really fun girl. Talented as anything. I mean, she's really good at what she does, you know. But she's funny. I mean, she's really, you know, she comes across. She's larger than life. I mean, and, and the camera captured that. 